Hey guys, welcome to Deep South Outdoors. And I was walking along and I caught this little ribbon snake here. It's a ringneck ribbon snake, a southern one. And they're totally harmless. They don't even bite or anything, as you can tell. I believe this here is a female one. If you kind of look at her tail, it's kind of short and blunt. And I know they will get bigger than this. You know, this here's a young one. They mostly eat small things, insects like crickets and, you know, little minnows and stuff. They hang around water, it seems like, down here in the south anyways, most of the time. And she's about to get away from me in a second. But I haven't seen one of these in quite a while. And I think this here's probably about my third one I've seen this year. Put on my pants leg here where I get better grip. There we go. And... I don't know if they just have certain times that they breed and have more babies and stuff and all or if it's because of the road and stuff and all they put close to here and stuff's taking a toll on them. But I was kind of excited to find one because they're really, really colorful, especially on their stomach. Let's see if I can flip her over. Well, she don't like to be flipped over too much. I'm trying to hold a camera and do this. I need a camera person to help me out here. <laughs> but you can tell you got a lot of orange on their stomach and it kind of goes up underneath their chin there too and stuff now they will they're just like regular garter snake uh ribbon snakes and stuff and all as far as musking on you this one hasn't done it yet but they will go to the you know go to the bathroom on you and stuff and all to try to get away get you to let go of them now this one here lays eggs or well, most of the ribbon snakes they have live babies and stuff like the garter snake and all but I kind of found her just right in the middle of the road stuff so I kind of had to move her off this well it's not really a road it's a little trail but still people walk up and down it a lot and all and around here most people just want to kill every snake they see but they're real real colorful and all if you really take a closer look at them and I'm gonna go ahead and let her go. But they're totally harmless and stuff and all. This is a great little starter snake. You know, if a younger child wants to try to catch something, you know, to get into herbing and all, this here would be ideal. They don't bite. They're pretty quick at times, but most of the time you can catch them. And all. I'm gonna let her go right back where she was headed anyways, towards these woods right here. There's a little slough down there that has a lot of, uh, mud snakes in it stuff and all and I was hoping to find one of them but I found a ribbon snake instead but that's okay I'm gonna go ahead and let her, this one go come over here and let her go about the way now it did just rain today well la late last night and I was hoping I'd find you know something like a mud snake or something that might have got stirred up and all I'm gonna go ahead and let her go Oh, you can let go now. <laughs> She's all wrapped up around my fingers. Go ahead and go. There we go. Now, they're pretty quick about hiding and stuff, and all they're really good. They blend right in with everything once they get in there. But, but that's a ribbon snake for you, a ringneck ribbon snake. Till next time, thanks guys.